Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Ninja XTX, and I'm back to share another video with you guys. This video is actually lesson 208 in our Sharebound Screamer series, and we're continuing on with our lessons in Tomba Toy Out and Chuckle. First, before we begin today's lesson, I'd like to thank my friend and brother, Mountainous, for sending me this Nin patch. And these wonderful chucks. Um, I love these chucks, man, because they just glide in my hand. Um, just these chucks are awesome. And they're a little bit heavier than what I'm used to, but that's good because it helps me build my strength. Um, so thanks again for all you've done for me. I appreciate all the support from Mountainous, Rick, and everyone else out there that watches my videos. It's nice to see that my, my work is touching people and I hope that continues but and now on to today's lesson now in lesson 207 I designed it specifically for my friends in the UK um this is going to build upon that. Now, as I said before, in the UK, you cannot necessarily have uh, nunchucks or sticks or blades or whatever you need to defend yourself. So you're stuck with turning whatever is at hand into a weapon. That's where a screamer comes in because a screamer challenges the mind to see a weapon where there is none. To turn something that may be inanimate to one person into a weapon. Now in Monday's lesson, I taught you guys how to use, or I told you guys that you could use a pair of socks and tennis balls as a nunchuck if you tie the socks together and put the tennis balls inside. We're going to go or keep going with that concept. Now, I showed you guys a drill that went along with it. Straight down, back up. Straight down, back up. Then, out to the side, Out the side, out the side, into your figure eight. Now we're going to build upon that. Now Let's say you've maybe gotten an opponent in on cro in at close range. You can't or won't be able to, I'm not gonna say can because that word is not in my vocabulary. You would not be able to pull um, 
that drill off. So what do you do if you have imp improvised nunchucks in a close range position? Now, depending on how close the person is, you can still hold the, the improvised nunchuck with both hands and but instead of using the nunchuck per se, you use the elbows. So, this is a drill I want you guys to practice. Keep, keep the nunchucks like so. But work on shooting the elbow. In. As you shoot the elbow in, wrap, wrap on each side. As you shoot the elbow in, wrap on each side, wrap on each side. Or actually, it's hit, wrap, hit, wrap, hit, wrap. So, in a close range position, let's say you've got the guy coming into Tokyo or whatever. Let him choke you or let him get his hands around you because if he gets his hands around you, that shows that you're not the aggressor. But then, as he come, as he uh, tightens his hold, bang, elbow, wrap, elbow, wrap, elbow, wrap, etc. You can do elbow. Strike, wrap, or excuse me for a second, or strike, elbow, wrap. But this, like I said, whatever you have in your hand is your force enhancer. So hit, hit. Elbow, elbow, wrap. And then you've got control of it. Another bonus to him coming in and actually putting his hands on you is you know where his hand is. So, number one, you have that as a reference point. The third bonus to him putting his hands on you is he actually has to lean down, which means his balance will be off already. So all you need is maybe three strikes to turn, it, turn his attack on you in your favor. So, here we go. Now, as it comes in, strike, strike, wrap, strike, strike, wrap. And then, if you want to, add a headbutt. Now, keep in mind all the factors that I gave you. Number one, if he puts his hand on, around your throat, you know where his hand is. Number two, he has to bend down 
which causes him to be a little bit off balance. Number three, you're using this or whatever you have in your hand using as chunks. You're using them as force enhancers. So your punch or your strike will be helped by whatever you have in your hand. That means it'll make it more powerful than it would if it was just your hand or your fist doing the striking or your elbow doing the striking. I hope that made sense for you guys and I know for a lot of you guys that are watching my Nunchuckle videos, I'm rehashing some of the basics. Yes, I'm doing that because some of my friends in the UK uh, didn't quite understand the basics because they couldn't carry or they can't carry nunchucks or such weapons. But now that I'm translating it into other uh, improvised weaponry, they're having to they're having to play catch up. So this is for my friends in the UK, and it's a refresher course for my, all my other students. So don't say to me you're going back over the basics. Yes, I will continue going over the basics because the basics are what you remember. The basics are what's going to save your life. So, as I said before, I hope that made sense for you guys. Please take care of yourselves and each other. One world, one love. If you have any questions, comments, or requests, please send them to my YouTube account. Or if you know what, I get in touch with me on Facebook, please send them to my Facebook account. Thank y'all. Love y'all. Bye-bye.